Hola everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa with OurGreyHouse.com and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make this cute little canvas with a chalk couture transfer and some paint pens. For this part of the project, you'll need a canvas of some sort. I have used regular canvases, but today I'm gonna to be using the thin one. You get these two for a dollar, two pack for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And then of course I have my transfer. As you can see, I have used it several times, probably at this point, I think 10 times. And it does get stained, but it, it still works fine. And it's still working fine for me. Then you need chalk paste. I chose today black because I'm gonna embellish it with other colors later. And then a little squeegee thing. I don't know if you can use any type of squeegee thing. I happen to have bought the Chalk Couture one and um, you need a, a fuzzing cloth. I didn't buy that one. I just use a towel. And then I have a bucket of water here so that when we're done with the project, I can put my transfer in here and wash it off or rinse it off and use it again. Now let me also say I am not a Chalk Couture designer. My go-to girl is Fall Girl DIY, and I can put a link to her Facebook page. I don't know if she has a YouTube channel, but if she does, I'll link that too. I'll put that in the description box. But yeah, I'm not a designer. I'm not trying to be a designer. I'm just trying to encourage you guys to create. I believe these transfers go for about $10. I think it's like $9.99 or something. I don't remember how much these are, but um, Autumn Fall Girl DIY can tell you later. I also did this project on my Instagram. Several of y'all asked if I could put this on my YouTube channel. I'm putting it on my YouTube channel. You just peel back the transfer from the sheet. You keep the sheet because you will put the transfer back on there later and put it on my little towel, get some fuzz on it. And then I'm gonna position it on my little canvas. Kind of just smoothing it out. And I'm gonna get out some paste. The paste comes in a whole bunch of different colors. I've had this for over a year. It's still going strong. It's drying out just a little bit, but I think you can add just like a little bit of, I think distilled water is what they use. I don't know, I've not had to do it. So grab a little bit of paste up with your squeegee thingamajiggy and you just start spreading it on. Just make sure everything's covered. It doesn't need a whole lot of paste. And at the end, you'll see where I actually remove the excess paste so that we're not wasting it. And then we can use it for another project. How has everybody been doing during this quarantine time? If you're watching this at a later date, this may seem weird to you, but right now we're all hashtag staying home. We're all social distancing. And one of the ways that helps me cope with not seeing people, because I'm a people person, I'm an Enneagram seven. I love people. And so anyway, creating and making things always helps me just feel a little bit better about everything going on. It helps reduce stress for me. So I'm just making sure that it's all covered I could be doing this wrong. Again, I am not a designer. I don't work for Chalk Couture or anything like that. So I have a little bit of excess here. I just kind of scrape it into there. And now I'm gonna go back and just kind of scrape up this excess. Look how much is on there. That's a lot. And instead of just like wasting it or throwing it away or something, I'm just scooching it up and putting it back in the container. And I'm gonna plop this down into my bucket of water and then just pick a corner and lift up. 
and that's how it turns out. And then, once this is in here, you just really gently kind of um, rub the ink off. Let me cover this up so it doesn't dry out. And like I said, I have used this transfer probably 10 times or more. So um, I've gotten really good use out of it. I think it was $9.99 and I bought that and the squeegee and the paste and it's lasted me well over a year. Now I'm gonna go rinse it under the sink really quick. I'm gonna let this dry just a little bit, then I'm gonna put it back on the transfer sheet paper thing. So there's two sides to it. There's a glossy side and there's a matte side. So put an X on the matte side so I know not to put it on that side. I put it on the glossy side. The sticky side to the glossy side helps it to work again, again, and again. So it's really fantastic. I don't know how long I have to let it dry. I just usually let it dry for a little bit here. Now, as you'll notice on here, the E down here looks a little wonky. I don't know if there's something going on with the transfer or maybe it's getting old. I do have another transfer, but I'm gonna to try to get another couple uses out of the one, this one here, before I try to open up a new one. So um, that's how it turned out so far. So now comes the fun part. You can use actually several different colors of paste on your project and not have to use anything else. But I just did a white canvas and then I did black paste. So, I have another project that's already dry. I feel like you know how the, the food people take the you know finished one out of the oven? That's what I'm doing here. Now we're gonna take paint pen, and I just to like, I just to like, I just like drawing little hearts to kind of give it some pizzazz. And I have just been drawing hearts like around the, this leaf print area. You can do whatever you want. It's your project. That's kind of the fun thing about like making something. You can make it your own or you can copy somebody exactly how they do it, but it's fun just to kind of see where your creative juices will take you. You can draw flowers on here. You could draw whatever you want to. I'm just putting little hearts to add some color. Not trying to be fancy Nancy, just, just adding a little bit of, you know, to it. Kind of jizzing it up just a little bit. It's really fun, quick, and easy to make. My girl Autumn can totally hook you up with products, info, knowledge. This is not a sales pitch for her either. I'm not sponsored. Although if you want to, go ahead. But I just, I really like this little product. You can even join, she has like a, a club, chalk club, chalk couture club or something. I'm not sure what it's called. But um, where you get like a special transfer every month and I think a single use paste. I'm not going to be doing these kind of projects that much. So uh, I'm not really interested in that. But you know something that you could do. I think it's 20 bucks a month and you get a special transfer that nobody else gets and you get um, a single use paste, I think she said. Anyway, it sounded interesting. If I was gonna be doing a lot more of this, I would consider buying that. Just adding little bits of color. I just think it makes it look fun. Like I said, you could do little like circle flowers or if you know how to draw tulips or something, I don't know. I'm not the best at drawing, but I enjoy it. And last but not least, there you have it. Do small things with great love. Thank y'all so much for watching. As I mentioned in the video, all of Autumn's Chaka Tour information is going to be in the description box below. And the items that I purchased, um, I'll give you a link for those in the description box as well. 
If you want to follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye.